a crunch match here in Group D in Versace, where Montenegro meet Russia. Montenegro, after a comfortable win against Iceland yesterday, can make sure of a place in the main round, whereas Russia really need the two points after drawing against Romania yesterday. Russia scored the first goal of the match, but that was as good as it got for them, because the two Bulatovic's answered with a goal each, and Russia never regained the lead. When Montenegro scored three goals on the run and built a lead of 7-4, to four, the writing was on the wall and their supporters were ecstatic. Not least proud parents of Maida Mehmedovic. Of course, we, every time we are supporting Montenegro team, every country in the world. Uh, do you have high hopes after the silver at the Olympics? At least a medal. At least a medal. Are they that good? I hope so. Uh, you don't miss Popovic and the other girls who have quit playing? Uh, they, uh, we don't miss. I think the girls playing excellent. They will, we, they will beat Russia, they are 7-4. I hope so, I hope so. Is it, uh, this year we, we beat them three times already. Russia, however, fought bravely and five minutes from half-time, the difference was only one goal, 14-13. But then five Montenegrin goals followed in a row and the silver medalists from the London Olympics led by six goals at half-time, 2014. And the Montenegro team was relentless in the second half never giving the Russian bear any hope of repeating the salvation of a point like in the first match against Romania. With 15 minutes to go, Montenegro led by 10 goals, 28-18. And though Russia rallied, they never got closer than three at the end, Montenegro winning with 30-27. On this showing, Montenegro must be one of the favorites at the Euro, with Katarina Bulatovic outstanding in attack scoring six goals and an endless supply of passes to the line players. Everything is going good. Uh, we didn't play that um, we play so good because uh, we don't have too much trainings together. But uh, we finished the first game with victory and we have a big, big heart and we go on the second game and again we win and we are so uh, happy. And um, we are happy to, today, just tomorrow we prepare from the um, Romania and uh, I hope that we'll, we have third win. <laughs> uh, silver at the Olympics, yes. are you going also for a medal here? Are we? Are you, are you going to try to win a medal here also? I don't know. I, I will try. We will try, but uh, it's so hard to get two medals from the same year because we have a lot of game and we are really tired. We are very happy because of this uh, second win, and of course it was a very hard game today, and uh, the uh, it was like 60 minutes fighting and without no rest and that's why I, we have one more day to prepare for Romania and I hope we will not uh, give up so we go one step further to the next round and uh, with, the, with the winning and with the self-confidence. Self yeah. yeah, the confidence must be really high in the team right now. Yes, it is, but uh, we, know, we know what is our quality and uh, uh, we know what is very important for, the, for us and for, us, for the team. And, uh, for now, uh, we fighting spirit is on the first level and in every match is very important for us because it's a young team and uh, of course so many things is changed like two months before when we take uh, silver in Olympic Games and this is the main, the main uh, thing in our team, this uh, fighting spirit. There was much talk about uh, big changes in your team, you lose very big players. How come you're still so good uh, after losing these big names? Well, they, they left something for us. <laughs> no, I joke. Well, we have chance, time to play without them also, but they're with us all the time. And uh, we were too many times together. And of course, they believe in us, even if they're not here. And I want to say before, we play again without them also. And uh, it was this is important thing for us because the young team has so much fighting spirit. And this is what make us to be here where are, where are we now, actually. So it was a, a lot of changing, but of course we believe in this team and we can do more.